Freight Rugby and coverage of the Mitre 10 Heartland Championship brought to you, of course, by Main Freight, but with support from Wet and Forget, still Toyota, to the New Zealand now, and Wairapa Bush against East Coast, two teams who didn't go as well as they wanted to in the opening round of the competition. Actually, well, it's great to have with me our referee for today's, uh, of course, Heartland game, and that is uh, Teru. Teru, second game in New Zealand. You are in King Country last week. Uh, first of all, welcome to Wairarapa Bush. Uh, what are you looking forward to about uh, refereeing in New Zealand? Yeah, it's very, very exciting and very uh, fun and very nice day. You've been doing first-class rugby in Japan. Uh, that's very impressive. Uh, how do you find the difference in styles of rugby between Japan and New Zealand? Oh, Japan rugby is very fast, but uh, in New Zealand, uh, very physical. Uh, this point, di uh, different. Yes. Excellent. So this is your second game in New Zealand. Yes, thank you very much. I'll tell you the other thing that'll be different too, and that's the surface here at Marston. Artificial surface. Gough Moorcock is the caller. They go to McLean, he rises high and takes the ball in. No contesting there by East Coast, and uh, eventually it comes to Cranston. He has a bit of a dab, they're only two metres short of the line, White at Applebush. Ford's trying to rumble it over, picking it up was Mason. He gets closer to the line, only a metre short. Ball's there for Wepu, they can see it. And he uh, goes to ground, they are getting pretty close to that goal line, White at Applebush. Pass there to McLean. Inches short of the line now, one at Applebush. Getting closer and closer, Isaac, he has a bit of a dab. Tavita Isaac beats the tackle and scores a try. You'll see that on Wet and Forget. The replay, good work from one at Applebush, patient work from one at Applebush. And after a couple of early rumbles towards the line, it is the number eight, Tavita Isaac, who scores the opening try of the game. Scrum, hold steady, ball put in, held at the back. Why did Applebush put in a big shunt here? Picked off the back here by BJ Campbell, and away he goes towards that goal line. Two metres short, dragged to the ground. Ball's there for Wadid Applebush. Should come back, picked up by Monaghan. They drive up and over the line. They're only a metre short. Why did Applebush? Can they get it down? East Coast in there, killing the ball. Look at that. Referee says the try's been scored. Referee says the try has been scored. You'll see it on the wet and forget replay. Strong run off the back by BJ Campbell. And a metre short of the line, Chris Raymond, what an upper bush club player of the year, picks it up, dives over. Referee on the spot, he says try. What an upper bush out to 15 points to nil. Comes in. Hits it high. He's got three out of three, folks. And it sees one and up a bush go into the half-time break, leading uh, East Coast by 17 points to nil. First 5-8 to get the second half underway. 40 minutes of Heartland Rugby to go. There's the kick-off from Poi, and oh, taken well there by Heidi. Hi, Riwa gets it across to his hooker, Manuel. So uh, they took the ball well there, East Coast. Buchanan looks one way, then the other. Gives it away to Lalaga. Lalaga busts off two, busts off three. Lalaga's going to score a try for East Coast, and what a try it is. He has busted off three tackles. BJ Campbell's gone down in a heap, clutching his shoulder. He was one of them. But Lalaga has scored after something like 35 seconds. And he really has beaten some terrible wire up a bush defence. Then boy, are they back in the game big time here? We put a feed. Puts it in, held at the back. We put goes short side, gives it across to Malatai. Malatai for the line. Is he in? Referee says yes, he is. He may well be the smallest man on the paddock, but he'll be one of the quickest. And Zoli Malatai scores the try for one at Applebush. Obviously a planned move, Wepu put it in, held it up at the base of the scrum and Malatai came screaming off the wing, over the line in the tackle. What at Applebush's third try of the afternoon. It was knocked on by East Coast before what at Applebush did, so there we go. There's a, off the back goes Cranston away to Katia. Katia dives one, dives dark, Katia scores! Naya Katia scores a try! From the base of the scrum, and that is bonus point try for White and Apple Bush, their fourth of the afternoon. Cartier the try, their fourth of the afternoon, and White and Apple Bush go further into the lead by 29 points to 10. Scrum to go down. Cartier 
Good scrum, one at Applebush. Still going forward. Cranston's got it at his feet. They're still going forward. Cranston picks it up, scores a try. Good effort from that top eight. Cranston the try. Good effort there by the one at Applebush forwards. They drove East Coast back over the goal line. Cranston had it at his feet. And he scores the try, and that is try number five, White and Apple Bush. Sitting on 100%, comes in, kicks it high, gets it up there, gets it away to the left-hand side of the post. And that will be full-time here at Trust House Memorial Park. White and Apple Bush have their campaign on the way to at Trust House Memorial Park. It is White and Apple Bush 36 have defeated East Coast 10. Comprehensive victory for the home side and a good one to get their campaign going. How was that? Pretty good? Yeah, it was fantastic. Sorry about that, mate. Someone's just pulled me pants down. <laughs> we continue. Yeah, last week was a bit of a shock, mate. Travelling to Wanganui, first game up at Wanganui was always going to be tough, but we didn't realise it was going to be that tough. But, hey, that was last week. It was good to get through this week and, and sort of learn from last week and really just sort of, I mean, East Coast here, yeah, unlucky, really. We needed to make a statement today. And we feel like we sort of made of round two results. North Otago get that local derby win over mid-Canterbury. Wanganui, she made to be work very hard against Thames Valley. Warby Bush bounced back. Buller. And good Nick, as to a horror for a couple looking very good in South Canterbury. Gee, there was a doozy of a game over King Country. It's going to make quite a difference this on the uh, on the points table. It's looking really interesting. We're going to win horror for a couple. Who would have thought? Up there with nine points, Buller just behind them, and then comes South Canterbury, Thames Valley, and Mid Canterbury with a win and a loss. Now this is only a short competition. These guys on this page will want to keep going because you don't want any more than two losses, I don't think, if you think you're going to be in Meads Cup contention by the end of the year. To see how it's all going, go to that website, allblacks.com, and find yourself the Facebook page. Please, can I direct you there? Big week this week. Looking forward to Buller against North Otago, Carmo. Yeah, but how big would King Country taking on Warren Bushby, two former halfbacks going toe-to-toe? -to -toe? Yes, LB Matthewson and Piri Wipu in that match. Don't forget, too, impossible is just an opinion. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Our thanks to all the people who support us financially and otherwise, and our special thanks to all of the folk at the Heartland Unions for their assistance every time we turn up to cover the matches that are played there. Without them, we would not be able to bring you this programme. It's a lot of fun. We love it. We hope you enjoy it too. The Mitre 10 Heartland Championship on Main Freight Rugby. <laughs>